Day 405 on Instant Replay Live. I've been running into spinning death traps for as long as I can remember. If there was a world before this, I don't know it. There... there wasn't. Oh. <laughs> this is just life. <laughs> this is your whole... this is your hell now. Oh wait, this level is <laughs> this called is hell, hell, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. God, that's... Um, I'm so original. Man, speaking of hell, Event Horizon had one of the best hells of all time. We didn't uh, even see it, but the, yeah, the glimpse of that hell. Tutome, yeah. Ex infernis. Yeah, that's such a good quote too. Like, yeah. Just sticks with you, the guy. Yeah, I mean, with it his builds up throughout the movie. Out. Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first hallucinations you see, and then how intense they get towards the end. I it's think good the, stuff. So that is my favorite horror movie. Uh, mm, the Thing is close, but that's see, probably my favorite. That's where I would go directly um, to the Thing. But I do have to say, the the thing that Event Horizon did the worst was its ending. Which is really unfortunate because the buildup was so great and it delivered on the buildup for a little bit, and then it had the scene where um, Morpheus fights um, Alan Grant, <laughs> um, and it just it like it didn't work. Yeah, they had this it kind felt of, like, like a different feel. Yeah, different they were like like, like you almost think they have to go through and all end up dead, you know, or or, or suffering for eternity in hell. Well, and that wasn't my problem. It was the act legitimately the fight scene. Because it was okay. like a sci fi action fight scene. Okay. And the, the effects weren't there like before yeah. they had like quick quick cuts of, of uh, horror. That uh -huh. just made it it was it worked. I um but um I, I mean because there there was a little bit of a I I guess we were in full spoiler mode. But there was a little bit of a uh, a little stunner right at the um, end where the girl who gets away has a glimpse of him. Yeah. And, and it's, it's like, like, is she just freaking out or, or is this hell out with them? Yeah, yeah. And those are always, I don't know, those are kind of bug me because, I mean, that, that could be explained by so many things, but it doesn't really mean anything. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't make me go, oh my god, what's really going on? Like, I don't feel like I have to dissect it at that point. Yeah. From a, a, a joke stinger like that, almost. Yeah. Whereas you watch a movie like Inception and The Spinning Top, you can argue either side of whether he's dreaming or not dreaming with that for hours and never get to the end, but it does matter to the story. You know what Ooh. I mean? Oh. oh my god, finally. Yeah, just uh, 13 you minutes of that. worthless piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> So it was more than thirteen minutes. There's, there's a lot of like horror movies, which is like, man, the yeah. ending of that. Can, go ahead. Can we just like go into spoiler mode, or uh... Uh, 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 okay. Well, we'll we'll drop off that then because uh, I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, you know. Yeah. I, the more recent the movie, the less spoilery we should I guess, be. Here, so here, maybe as a, a general statement, um, I feel like it's okay. Uh, the, the, sometimes it's good for horror movies to end on a sour note. Sometimes it's good for horror movies to end on a positive, positive note. To but it should it. always feel like a conclusion, and not like I, I don't like it when there, it feels like something's not yeah. solved. Yeah, yeah. And even really good horror movies leave things feeling unsolved. Yes, it's a common trend. It's a trope, even like because they well they is it just because they're going for the sequel or is it because horror movies have done it? Horror has also had a problem as a genre mm, for f being formulaic. Um, how many horror movies have you watched where the opening scene is some random character dying that you haven't met? <laughs> until well, I mean, obviously you haven't met because it's the opening scene. That, I'm sorry. But what I mean is that that isn't important to the story or is important only in that they set up like, did you hear about what happened to Jenny? Oh yeah. my god. Like... They never actually matter. It's just because they want to put a death on the screen in the first few minutes. I'm trying to give a counter argument to that, if there is one. like a movie that doesn't do it. Well, a movie that does it but does it well. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I can tell you one. Sure. Uh, except I can't remember the name. <laughs> it's that one we just watched recently, uh, independently, but that that very like '80s out of time, oh, out of sync with time right. sort of horror movie. Um, it follows. It follows. Yes, because it's such a like statement on horror movies, I feel like, mm -hmm. you know? So it starts with the typical horror movie intro, where you have a character you don't know yet, running scared, mm -hmm. but it's a parody almost. She's wearing high heels, which is completely impractical for running away. Um, it's filmed so well, though, in spite of that. Like, it serves its purpose 100%. I'll admit that I was worried when I first started watching it, because I was like, oh, is this going to be just that kind of movie? Is it going to be that crappy, mm. typical horror movie? 
but it sells itself. I definitely love that movie, but Except I think it Except for the pool the scene. scene. Yeah, well, that, and it kind of builds into the end not really being all that satisfactory. Like, it feels like we watched... It's because it's a metaphor. It's not meant to terrify you anymore. Mm. Like, literally, the end is supposed to be... I mean, depending on which interpretation you go with, because there's a lot of interpretations to that movie. But the end is supposed to be, in some way, coping with what's going on. Like, mm. whether you think that movie's about sex, or aging, or... STDs. Or, yeah. Whatever you think that movie's about, the end is about acceptance. And so it's not a horror movie at the end of the movie anymore. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with genre bending, for sure. Yeah. Um, it was weird during watching it, but I grew an appreciation after. And I love a movie that does that for me. Yeah. I love a movie that sinks in and, you know, I realize what I like about it over time. So I think we can agree, though, uh, in regards to horror movies. We both mentioned The Thing. The Thing has my favorite horror movie ending. Yes. There's a conclusion, and it ends on a sour note, and it's like, it's like, there's a sense of victory and a sense of... And a mystery, too. Yeah. Because is MacReady an alien or not? Oh my gosh. Yeah. No one knows. You can't answer that question. You can look at all the evidence, and I have. <laughs> People have done their own reviews online, you know, video or just just articles and whatever. And I nerd out over that stuff so much. Um, but there's no definitive answer, no matter how much research you've done and how much you think you know. You don't really know one way or another. Yeah. And that's perfect. That's exactly what a movie like that needs. I, like I, I, the thing is, one of those horror movies. I literally can't find a complaint in me about it. I agree. Yeah. And, I mean... We're, we are obviously talking about John Carpenter's The Thing. Oh, you're yeah. talking about the remake? Yeah, right. Oh. There wasn't a remake of John Carpenter's. John Carpenter's or, is the remake. Yeah, you're right. But yeah. the, what, a, the Sam sequel kind of? It, like, it was a... I don't even remember. Like, I, prequel. I watched it and I don't remember it what was happens. Terrible. Cause they, uh, what terrible. Because what they did with that is they, they built a lot of practical effect things and then they didn't use them. They just CG'd. And the CG was terrible. It's so dated so fast, mm. whereas you can still watch the original John Carpenter's The Thing and appreciate how creepy and gross those props look. Yeah. Like, oh my God. they look the, like props, the but you appreciate them. Mm -hmm. On the dogs, like, oh. Yes, yeah. That's one of the best, like, that first scene where you're really, like, seeing how just visceral that effect is. Um, man, I think The Thing is, is horror movie perfection. Oh, shit. It really is. And then the other one, so I like it follows is one of my other. If we're if we're doing a list of top threes, mm -hmm. it's Cabin in the Woods. Oh, I see. Okay, so that is one of my top movies, but I just can't find it in my heart to consider it a horror movie. It's definitely got horror movie in it, mm -hmm. but there's so much else going on that I just so I it doesn't get belong on my personal top three. Maybe The Mist uh, by <sighs> Frank Darabont. I, oh, I didn't care about The Mist. It, so what it did well for me was the characters, which is what always what Frank Darabont does well. Mm -hmm. um, the 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 bigger horror element being kind of the woman in the uh, in the grocery store, who yeah. let, started a following. Like that was the real horror of that movie. Sure. And I, I still just love that. Um, Can we talk real quick about the balls that are coming out? Ahead the of orange your... anus. That's really gross. Oh, I'm not ready. Oh my god, Joe! <laughs> I thought you had it. You're so close. <laughs> try to end this episode with a victory here. I've definitely lost some but, steam on this game. I just don't know what happened. That little, like, bleep. Oh, yeah. Bleep. Pucker up. Bleep. That is so gross, watching that thing stick out of there. How did they make it that gross? <laughs> like, they have the perfect little animation for it kind of opening up a little bit to make that look as disgusting as possible. Uh, oh... You know what this kind of reminds me of? Did I say this? I'm, I was thinking, I can't remember if I said it now. This reminds me of Aladdin. The, uh... uh the, the, the whole cave scene? Pit. I don't know why, because the gameplay is nothing like it, but... Yeah. Um, I, I'm just thinking... It's the hardest now. level in that game. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Oh, I thought I could jump that one. That, uh, that's a fun game, too. Man, I can't wait till we can play console games. For sure. We need to get on that. Because <laughs> yeah. there's so many console games I want to play. Oh, jeez. This this whole thing, though. <laughs> Watching you play this is driving me insane. How and insane is it driving It's you? time to close this episode, actually. So, you get one more run. Next okay. death is it.
Next death is it. No, I'm gonna die right here. <laughs> what? Why would you do that? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, next time it is to Replay Live. Love to hear your thoughts on uh, horror movies. What do you think is the best horror movie? Does Cabin in the Woods count? Um, any other questions, Joe? Hmm. Wow, um, wow. Is Christina Aguilera a real woman? Good question. Really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf?